I am uh, Marco van Vulpe. I am chairman of the Department of Radiation Oncology at the University Medical Center in Utrecht in the Netherlands. And I'm involved in a clinical practice and research projects. Uh, imaging plays a vital role in our radiotherapy practice to visualize the tumor and healthy organs. Where X-ray and CT were the main imaging methods in the past, I am convinced that in the upcoming decade MRI will become much more important because of its better soft tissue contrast compared to CT. I believe that MRI provides us with a direction towards hypofractionation and potentially less toxicity. MR has already become deeply integrated in our clinical practice. We have clinical protocols for planning the treatment of virtually all tumor sites like pelvis, brain and esophagus for external beam radiation therapy. My name is Nico van den Berg. I'm an MR physicist working at the UMC Utrecht uh, in uh, the Netherlands. I'm working on the development and use of MRI in radiotherapy. MR is definitely part of our clinical routine for radiotherapy. Uh, we use MR for treatment planning on about 1200 patients and for brachytherapy on about 200 patients a year. We are running free Ingenia MR systems to handle that volume of patients. That means that, that most of our patients have access to MR simulation, which I think is a unique privilege for a radiotherapy department. Imaging requirements for radiotherapy differ from standard diagnostic exams. We've worked intensively with Philips for the past 10 years on new developments that make it easier to integrate MRI into a clinical practice like dedicated sequences for radiotherapy that give us the high contrast and also the high geometric fidelity we need for treatment planning. A flat couch top lets us image patients in treatment position and a QA program makes it easy for us to evaluate geometric accuracy. I feel proud to see our clinical input translated into product features that help to make MR more accessible for radiotherapy. Research drives our clinical practice and I see great potential for MRI, not only for treatment planning, but also during and after treatment. For example, we are looking into how different MRI contrasts can be used to monitor treatment response for tumors in rectal cancer and esophagus cancer. This helps to predict which patients may not need further surgery. MRI also helps us to visualize lesions inside the prostate, which isn't possible on CT. If we can see the tumors inside the prostate, we might be able to target those lesions with a higher dose. We are currently investigating ways to decrease the number of fractions with such a dose boosting approach. For the future, we are working with Philips and Electa on MRI guided therapy delivery as part of the Electa Emerlinec consortium. I believe this will be a game changer in radiotherapy by providing real-time MR images during radiation beam delivery. MRLinic has the potential to allow us to see the anatomy during treatment and open the door for new clinical strategies. Our close collaboration with Philips over the past 10 years has transformed how we are using MRI in our clinical practice today. I'm confident it will contribute to opening innovative new treatment pathways for MRI-guided therapies in the future. <laughs>